used to be a, a just all sand, like what you see over there, and uh, there was this little swing. Um, and so when he was maybe a year old, we used to bring him here to swing. And so um, it's kind of a, it's a really a sentimental place for us. Uh, it was the, actually the first weekend of ski team. He was riding a ski lift with two other skiers on the team, both other seven-year-olds. The coach was with some of the other kids, but these three kids went up uh, the lift on their own. Uh, we're pretty sure the bar was never placed down, and the boys couldn't put it down because they're so small. And uh, somehow, and I don't know how, I don't, we still don't know how, but John fell out of that chair at the third tower. You know, I got a call on my phone uh, to come and meet him that something had happened. I think it was very vague, um, but I could just tell by the tone how serious it was. You know, he fell into a spot that there wasn't much coverage. It was a very dry year. It was the beginning of the current drought, and he probably hit his head. You know, he was he was evacuated, uh, you know, immediately by ski patrol and. John was in an ambulance in the parking lot, and um, they wouldn't let me go in to talk to him, and had just told me that he fell off a lift, uh, and, he, and he died two days later. He had pretty extensive injuries to his head. Yeah, so these tiles were all um, they were made by you know John's family and friends, but a lot of them center around really bright colors or really happy, fun things and um, a lot of smiles because John had a really infectious smile. You know, when he first died, we thought we'd never ski again. We thought we'd never go back to Sugar Bowl again. It was just too painful. I think as time went on, you realize that. John loved Sugar Bowl. I mean, it was just one of his favorite places to be. Being out there, I feel, I think, maybe closest to him. I think this accident was a wake-up call in a sense that while our programs are about safety, we have to constantly be progressing and getting better at what we do, and Mark and Helen were instrumental and so impressive in working with the resort through these difficult emotional times to arrive at how we can be better each and every day, not just in chairlift safety, but in safety overall as a sport. So I think it's wonderful to see the program. It's um, been actually really rewarding to work with Nicole, for instance, at Sugar Bowl and get these things in place. We are taking John's legacy and implementing it here at the resort so that the Sugar Bowl community sees it each and every day and remembers John. And even if they didn't know John, they know the impetus behind this chairlift safety program. Mm -hmm.